G'day, Michael here. I've got this um, cruiser working away. It's been working away for how many hours now? Well, nearly 16 hours. As you can see, as that thing moves towards me, the terrible gaps in the printing. Now, those terrible gaps in the printing were actually caused by a near stoppage of the feeding of the material. And uh, as best I can tell, there, I mean, there's two probable causes. But the one that appears to be the major cause here at the moment is the spool of the PLA. See all my wiring and rubbish in the background. Uh, the spool of PLA, if I free it up, it's kind of like fluffing up a paper printer. Um, it doesn't seem to block. The other possible cause is there doesn't appear to be any cooling on the back end of the feeder arrangement like there is on my um, Delta. I've recently seen online, I've actually just bought a couple of units that have basically the same structure as this, but they have a cooling fan on the, on the back end of the actual feed. I'm hoping that's the solution. They're claiming that um, it stops the jamming. It, it's probably a good part of the cause here, but um, I've managed to avoid the blockage since I've been working this out um, just by making sure that the spool is kept loose. Now, the spool doesn't roll very easily on the pipe arrangement that they gave as part of the... Let's have a closer look at it. The pipe arrangement that they gave is just like a 20mm OD pipe going into nominally a 50mm spool. I put this intermediate 40mm pipe there to free it up a little bit but it's obviously not enough to free it. So anyhow what I'm working on, I'll find out the hard way whether this is right or wrong, is I've got these, I've made this design, it's basically I'd make two of these and fit one into the other and so they have a counter, you know, they have a counter or well, male, female, it's an interplay there and uh, you can see three holes in the, I'm going to call it the spikes, and three holes in obviously what would be the sockets for those spikes. So just see if I can rotate that around a little bit. So you can see as the, um, yeah, you put one against the other and fix the two together. And that produces a tapered cone. We seem to have a variation on the spools from about 46 millimeters through to about 54 millimeters on the inside. So I've made this thing from 44 to uh, 56. My intention is to have it so it, you know, it can be put inside the center of the spool and occupy that space properly and then rotate reasonably well on that um, axle for one of a better thing, a better name. All right, so I'll see how this prints with me keeping it um, loose. Then I'll uh, make up those those cones. As you see here on the slicer. And uh, then I'll print another one of these parts and see how it goes. Well, wish me luck. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. That's it. Bye for now.